How you doing? And thanks for tuning in to Wicked Warnings, your number one source for construction and emergency safety strobe lighting equipment for cars, vans, buses, bicycle, tricycle, unicycles, and occasionally our import friends here, like a 2022 Toyota Tacoma. Once in a while, these trucks do end up on construction sites and used for commercial purposes, like this one here. It's got a nice contractor cap going on the back and needed a nice all-around effective amber warning package. So, as you can kind of see reflecting in the mirror there, we did a little side lighting on that contractor cap with an all brand new light here for us. It's called our Mini Hex. And in the front here, we used our traditional Lin 6. That's a six LED linear style lens light. We alternated it with a triple flash, full alternation on each side. But if you prefer, you can split alternate that light as well. Has many flash patterns. And we also have the bigger brother of that Lin 6 light called a Lin 8, where you can get a steady white flood mode if you wanted to incorporate a white color. Lin 6 has all color options, by the way. You can go check all that out on our website. You can get links to every product used in this build, as well as the whole package for this build as well, in the description of this video. It is all in this video, everything you need, and it will link you right to the website if you happen to be watching this video on YouTube. So the mounting on the front there is done on the upper grill. It's very easy, plenty of room, simple hole for the wiring, and you can access that wiring right behind the grill. Slam dunk install on that. Lin 6 fits perfect, so would a Lin 8, so would many other lights, but we prefer this light right here, which is our Lin 6 in all amber. Now, once I get about 45 degrees away from the truck here, you can see how much linear power that Lin 6 light has. I like it because you really can see it all around the edges, even as I pull the camera here to approaching almost 90 degrees, you can still see some of the effect of that light. It's a great light for that. Speaking of, you can see the side lights there, which are on a triple flash, alternating pattern, just like the grill. Kind of went with a little bit of a theme on this truck with the full alternation by customer's request. He liked that look, so that's what we did. Now yeah, give a shout out to a new client here, V3. You see that truck logo anywhere around the United States of America? Take a look at the truck. Might be a chance that we did it here. On the back camper shell there, you can see that hex, mini hex light, brand new flush mounted light. It's about the size of a quarter. Very nice. You can get that in all amber or amber white, as well as some special order colors if you need. But what will be in stock is all amber and amber white. And it's a great all around solution when you need a small footprint of a light and you would like to pop it into some thin material. As you can see, that camper shell material is about 16th of an inch thick there on the side, so it works quite well. But that rubber gasket included will grab a material almost an eighth of an inch thick. So if you have a plastic shroud, like the fender shroud, that would work just as well. In a little closer shot of those mini hex lights, you can also see right behind that, a little bit of our thin X strip we put vertically, as well as some hideaway action in those tail lights. I'm gonna put a little bit more detail on how those hideaways are mounted in the back for at the end of the video, in case you're curious. And around here on the back of the vehicle, we continued that theme of a triple flash alternation in all amber with our amber white Thinex strip. Now don't let the name fool you, just because it's an amber white strip does not mean you have to use both colors. We simply manufacture it amber white for convenience and price point, that way we don't have to manufacture multiple strips, but as you can see, we can flash amber only, we could flash white only. We could still steady white the flood mode if we like. All of those features are available. So for a build like this, where we wanted a predominantly all amber flash, we just flash the amber, and that's what we're ending up with. So the thin X strip in all of the dual colors, selectable like that, as well as our smaller thin X light. Both of the thin X families, you can pick the color and do anything you want. Now below that is a very easy light. That's just our low dome Echo Haw, our Echo Economy Hideaway Light in low dome amber. I picked a nice fast pattern on that. You could, if you wanted, uh, alternate the same, but I like to keep a little bit more action in that reverse light on this build because I already have a nice strong alternation above it and that reverse is a smaller lens. So I figured to keep it nice and fast and have a little bit more action in that, make this package work a little better. Now, here we are pulled as far back as I can in the shop without walking out the door. And you can see how effective that whole package is when set up like that. By the way, we got a 27-foot trailer in the back there that's uh, almost getting complete. Getting a lot of accent lighting and a couple of interior lights as well. So keep an eye for that video, which will be coming soon. Now, I'm a fan on these trucks of drilling the three-quarter switch 
right through one of the blank plates. That way, if you wanted to remove it, you could, and there's no damage at all. So that's where we put the three-quarter switch. And I won't really get into it. There's a large grommet that's very easy to get through in the firewall right there. So we don't really need to cover that on this. But that's our three-quarter switch. Once you do get through the firewall, literally right there is the battery. So it's super easy to put your fuse kit on the battery to get your power to your switch and to put your three-quarter switch right there. And of course, you can have the switch in any color you like. We just chose green because that was the first one that I grabbed when I reached into the bag. Okay, now it's going to get just a tiny bit boring because I'm going to talk about how this package is crafted, what you're getting in this package, and what you might want to knock off the package if you do not have a very similar contractor cap. So we're going to kind of break this package up. The first half of it is everything on the vehicle. Then I'm going to go through the stuff that's on the contractor cap which will be listed later in the contents of the package. And you'll feel free to eliminate that from the package if you want only the truck-related products. Starting it off, two Lin 6 right in the front grill. Okay, those are self-explanatory, mount right in the grill, very easy. We're also going to include 22-5 power control wire. That's going to extend each one of those Lin 6s forward through the firewall to the back area behind your switch. Behind your switch, you'll synchronize them, set your patterns, disregard the flood wire, power to the switch, and ground them. Now, at the battery, there'll be a fuse kit, and there'll also be some 16-2 to go from the battery fuse into the switch. You want to go ahead and use that fuse kit? I have this entire system on 10, but use the fuse appropriate for what you're doing. And if you're curious about that, take a look at our unity meter because it's the only way you can accurately check the amperage draw and know the exact amperage draw to set up the exact fuse. Unless you dial back the fuses and go a little smaller and smaller until one blows and then go one step higher. But the unity meter that we sell with the lobster clip claw is far better tool for that. In the front there, that 22.5, we're going to give you 30 feet. And for the 16.2, I'm going to go ahead and give you another 30 feet of that as well. You'll have a lot of extra with that, but that's the minimum that we sell that wire. Alrighty, now around the back, we're going to give you that set of hideaway lights for the reverse. That's part of the truck package. We're also going to give you 30 feet of 18.5. That's going to extend the hideaway light module, which you're probably going to mount behind the driver's side tail light and extend with the 18.5 forward along the frame up through the floor. You will need to drill a hole through the floor or there is a rubber grommet right around the driver's left foot area. So you can either drill your own or use the rubber grommet, your choice. The 18.5 will come forward to behind your switch. There you can set pattern, ignore the synchronization, ignore the flood, and of course, put your power to the switch and your ground to the ground wire. I'm a fan of using the 16-2 ground right to the battery, bringing that to the back of the switch and joining all of my grounds there. That way, all of my grounds basically from the lighting converge at the switch and then run to the battery. So we have a solid power and ground at the battery. Now, above that on the camper shell, this is where we're going to start listing the contents for the camper shell. And feel free to delete them if you don't have one. Two thin X strips, 15 fives four of the new mini hex lights now inside that shell we need to connect the mini hex lights synchronize them as well as the strips we're going to put in an additional 30 feet of 22-5 that's going to let you run the mini hexes together connect them with the synchronization wire extend the mini uh, the strips as well and because you have some of that 16-2 you can connect it all down to a single 16-2 and bring it down to the drivers tail light and borrow the power off the 18.5 power and ground that you're running to the rear uh, hideaway lights as well. That 18.5 is more than enough to power the hideaway lights as well as everything on the camper shell. Um, and because you have a little extra 16.2 in the front, go ahead and use it in the back. That's why that's, I think, the best solution for this. Um, I'm not going to get into how I rooted all the wiring inside the camper shell. I mean, I'll show you a little bit. Our wiring went up like this. Of course, we loomed everything. 
is coming around the back there, along the top there. We chose to come down through the front corner right there. Uh, you can come down through the corner back here. It really doesn't make a difference. It's all about what your wiring preference is and how you're going to do it on your shell. So this is uh, a little bit of a complete on your own as far as the wiring and how that is all going to connect, but it's fairly easy. Alrighty, now of course I've covered the switch already. I've showed you that. Um, this kit's also going to include some uh, accessories, heat shrink, some connectors, some tape and zip ties, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, to make this easier for you. But uh, it's without the camper shell is a very nice, very standard four corner kit, and then we'll have the same availability with everything on the camper shell as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Any questions at all, please drop a comment. Let me know if you actually still watching here at the 10 minute mark and you watch the whole video. I appreciate it when you guys drop a comment and let me know you actually watched the whole thing. And uh, if I missed anything, drop a question. I'll be happy to answer it. So thanks again for tuning in to Wicked Warnings, your number one source for construction and emergency, safety strobe lighting equipment for cars, vans, buses, bicycles, tricycles, everything in between. And all of our new friends, all these brands here. This is my brand wall right there. Those are all affiliates of ours that we're hooked up with. So if you see anything you like, let us know. How y'all doing? Just a little bit of follow-up info here on this 22 Toyota Tacoma. How do we install hideaway lights in this? Can you install hideaway lights in this? Well, this is the Tacoma's taillights. They are incandescent. And as you can see here, we definitely have our hideaway lights in there. This is our Echo Haw, but you can use any kind of hideaway light that you prefer. It really doesn't matter. And I'll take you underneath here and show you that yes, this is where you install them. You drill a hole right from the bottom, seal them up like that, run this wire like this and back up the back, but there's plenty of room right here in the bottom to install into your reverse. Now, if you wanted some red light, you could put it in here as well, but because this is red, you can't change that color. So in the reverse, you can run any color that you'd like. We have all the colors, and uh, being that it's a clear lens, anything will fit. So as I said, these are the 22 Toyota Tacoma tail lights and that is how you install a hideaway into them.